Adventures, it's Kaylin Shaner, and welcome back to Obsessive Immersive Disorder, where I will be doing the Do I Have That Book Tag? Question one. Do you have a book with deckled pages? Okay, I had to look up what deckled pages were, because I didn't know, and I feel like a moron. So, rough pages, basically. It's a certain kind of cut. For the pages. Okay, so I don't actually have a book with deckled pages. I thought for sure one of my older copies of something would have them, but no, actually. So the closest thing I found was Shopaholic and Sister, which I feel like probably never actually had deckled pages in the first place, but I brought it from the library when I was in junior high and took it on a camping trip with me because that's what book nerds do. We take books to inappropriate places so we don't have to socialize. And I left it in my duffel bag while we were setting up the tents the first night, and it rained like a motherfucker. But long story short, the book got left in the rain and is still readable, but it's a little ripples you can kind of see. So not exactly deckled, but it, it feels that way. And uh, yeah, I basically destroyed a perfectly good book. But like I said, I could still read it, but I had to pay for it at the library, so it's mine now. It still has the, the, the dealio here. But yeah, so that's the closest I could find to Deco Pages because I ruined the poor book. Do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Okay, so technically speaking, yes I do. This is the manga of Trigun, which I watched the series with my fiance. This is actually his manga. Manga? Manga? I think it's manga. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I am sorry. Um, but yeah, so it has three people on the cover, three main characters, and then on the back cover actually has three as well. And this is installment three in the manga series. I'm pretty sure he has the whole series. I know there's a bunch of them on my little bookshelf back there, so yeah. Do you have a book based on another fictional story? Okay, this one I know exactly what I want. Spinning Silver actually is a retelling. Boop. Is actually a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin and turning something into gold. Actually, in this story, it's silver and not straw. But uh, yeah, so a new take by Naomi Novik on the old Rumpelstiltskin story, a girl taking on the role of Rumpelstiltskin and actually being the protagonist instead of the antagonist is definitely compelling enough for me. Do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? Oh. Okay, so this is the one I found by Robert B. Parker. It's called Split Image. And the cover looks interesting with a martini, I think, and cherries. I have actually not read this one. It's on my TBR. I have no idea what it's about, and I really hate the color orange, <laughs> but everything else about the cover looks interesting and intriguing. Um, this was actually given to me as a birthday present from my future grandmother-in-law, Nana. So... Okay, so skimming the inner flap real quick, it looks like it's some sort of mob crime book with a mystery and two characters, Jesse and Sonny, who bond over this. Jesse and Sonny realize that they have much in common with both their victims and their suspects and with each other. So I'm going to have to check that out soon after... Eve the Awakening and The Clockmaker's Daughter and my next Book of the Month Club. So I will get to this. If you guys are interested, drop your opinion in the comments below if you think I should pick this up soon and post it on my channel because I have no idea whether or not I'm going to like this book. But it's definitely something different than what I usually do on this channel. So let me know if you want some variety. Do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? Okay, so my problem here is that there's actually a lot of them on my shelves, but only if you remove 
the the or the a or what have you in front of the title so if you guys will forgive me I'm gonna do that because basically everything has a the or an a in front of the, t the actual title so first one I saw that actually fits that motif if I drop the the is Pat Barker's The Silence of the Girls S and S on the beginning and end do you have a mass market paperback book? I'm going to go ahead and say The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants by Anne Brashears. Am I saying that right? Brashears? Brashears? I don't know. Um, yeah, this book was really popular for a minute. Oh, this kind of feels a little deckled. Is this deckled? If it is, it's not super deckled. Um, but uh, yeah, so this was popular for a hot minute, even got a movie made out of it, and it's definitely a paperback, so I'm going to count this one. Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Okay, I actually came up kind of short on this one, guys. All the books I own, I've never heard of them having a name other than the one on their books. And some of them are like really old and not super popular, so like I've never actually heard of that author anyway outside of the book that I have in my house. And it's going to take super, super long to Google each and every one of them, so I'm going to say no, I don't. Do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Okay, so to make up for the last one where I didn't have any, I actually found three books this time. And these are The Lady Elizabeth by Allison Weir. Were Weir? Um, I adored this book. Anyone who likes historical fiction, this was just super. Shut up, phone. <laughs> was super interesting and was told from the point of view of Elizabeth herself and spans her whole life and has all the juicy details of her dealing with the death of her mother and then her father and basically being cast out of English society and then coming back to reign as queen. And then obviously this question wouldn't be complete if I didn't have a copy of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Sorry, I had to look to make sure that's what this particular one was. Um, so that one kind of speaks for itself. And then this one is actually, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, I wrote this, wrote this, I read this when I was pretty young. Um, I don't think this was written by the original author. I'm not sure if the original author is even alive. But this is a Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys novel. Super Mystery is what it's called. And the title of this particular one, because this was a series, is Hits and Misses. So this has Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys which were written by two separate authors, I'm like 97% sure, and then someone had the idea later, like years later on, to pair them together. And honestly, I like these better than any of the Nancy Drew or Hardy, book, Hardy Boys books that I picked up when I was a kid. I thought these were super cool. Do you have a book with two maps in it? You know? Okay, so I'm pretty sure this book has like a lot of maps in it, like probably one for every book. I cheated just because I don't think most of the books that I own have maps in them, surprisingly. But this is the entire um, Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis in one book. It's like super freaking huge, guys. Like, it's massive because it's all the books together. But I read and reread this book so much, like even throughout high school. I just love this series. So I kind of cheated, but it is all in like one book, essentially, because they're all relatively small books put together. But uh, yeah, so the first one I found just flipping through is actually in the middle, because I suck at flipping through books apparently. A map of Narnia and adjoining lands. And each book takes place generally in a different portion of Narnia or even like an adjoining country to Narnia. So all the maps are just a little bit different. Uh, like so the second one is the Lands of the North and then Archenland, Callerman, the Great Eastern Ocean, 
it all looks like it's on the border of the countries, like where the the sea is. Do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Okay, so most of the books I could think of were turned into movies and not TV shows. The two that I did come up with, one absolutely fits this question, and the other one is a bit of a stretch. Um, Semi-recently, they came out with the show The Shadowhunters, which I adore, which is based on the series by Cassandra Clare, The Mortal Instruments. I do not have any of those books because I borrowed them all from my best friend who had the entire series. But I do have the prequel series. Fuck, I know the names of the books. What's the name of the series? Okay. The Infernal Devices. Duh. I'm an idiot. Um, and I've got all three. I've got the box set. Um, so that kind of, like I said, it's a bit of a stretch. It's part of the same universe. And um, the, the TV show has several of the same characters, like the immortal kinds of characters that are still around in the OG series. So that only kind of counts. Um, ah! Let me know if you think that was a cop-out. Um, I do have the Full Metal Alchemist manga, which was turned into the 2003 series, and then I think it was 2009 was Full Metal Alchemist FMA Brotherhood, FMA B, um, which, oh my god, guys, I freaking devoured that series, like, ah, it was so good. Actually, um, in the spirit of obsessive immersive disorder and being a super huge nerd, okay, so somewhere I have the pocket watch that says don't forget October 3rd. And I took it off to show somebody and now I think it's somewhere around the house. I was keeping it on my purse because it's like a keychain pocket watch deal. Um, so I can't show that to you guys now, maybe in a later video. But I do have this awesome leather and satin and suede. It's got all three guys. Coat. Like, oh my god. I just, I love this thing. It's got the hood, and then hopefully you guys can see the, the deal. And it's floor length, like it's, it's, it's super, super long guys, and it's got the satin, and just, ah! This was an anniversary gift from my fiance for our one year anniversary almost exactly one year ago. And then for my birthday this year, he got me the Mustang jacket. So yeah, like it's got like the, the military emblem and just like all that cool shit. And then I have the show up. There we go the Fire Alchemist emblem. So yeah. So to answer the question, yes, I have a book, a manga, that got turned into a TV series that I love, obviously. Eleven is, do you have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else? Celebrity, athlete, politician, TV personality. You know, I'm actually going to go ahead and I don't know how true this is because I'm not sure how big the following was for Easy Awakening, but I know how big her YouTube channel is and her Skillshare class is amazing and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and say The Savior's Champion by Jenna Moresi, who I am recently a ginormous fan of. Cannot get enough of her videos. I took her Skillshare class. Um, I follow her on social media. And she's kind of just like this social media, internet, uh, social media platform guru. And she gives amazing writing advice and marketing advice. And her books are phenomenal. And I just love her. Like, I can't stop gushing about her. So I'm going to go ahead and say her because of her YouTube channel and Skillshare class and that kind of thing. 
mostly because I can't think of any other options, and also because any chance I get to Fetch a Bunch of I see, I will absolutely jump on that. And then I have her other book, Eve the Awakening, which I'm currently reading. It's not bookmarked because I'm an awful human being. I just like set it down. But uh, yeah, so that's my answer for those two. Or for that, th those two are my answer to that question. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? If there's not a clock on one of the clockwork books, I'ma lose my fucking shit. That one does not have a clock. That one does not have a clock also. What the hell guys, you had one job. And Prince, and Prince, are you fucking serious? Well, fine. That was bust. I'm a dumbass! The clockmaker's daughter is literally just a clock with words. So, yeah, there's that one. Do you have a poetry book? Oh, I'm sure I do somewhere. Okay, so I actually feel like kind of a bad person because I don't have a book of poetry. Like, at all. Um, I know I did at some point, once upon a time, I had at least a couple of them, but I recently went through the books that I didn't read and got rid of them. So, yeah, it's, it's gone. Oops! Yeah, I'm, I'm not super big into poetry, so, yeah, there's that. Sorry. Hey, buddy. You say hi? You say hi? Say hi to YouTube. Normally he's not allowed up on the table, but we're uh, giving him some special treatment here lately. Okay, home stretch, guys. Do you have a book with an award stamp on it? All right, the only stamp I found was not actually an award stamp. It was a now a major motion picture stamp on Memoirs of a Geisha. So that's the uh, closest end of the, the price sticker just in case you thought that was something else in the camera. Um, but yeah, so that's the closest I could come. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? Sort of, kind of. Okay, so my initials are C.S., and the closest I could come to was obviously C.S. Lewis, the author of The Chronicles of Narnia. Do you have a book of short stories? I do. Okay. Favorite cat stories. This was actually sent to me when I was a little girl from my grandparents who live in Canada, and it's by Stella Whitelaw. Do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages long? No! <laughs> no, I don't. The closest I could come was Twilight. All of her other books were too big, and then... These were the ones that came the closest. All the other ones were like 470, 480. Um, some of my giant books must must have really thick pages because they were like 270, but they were really thick books. Um, and then I checked out um, the Game of Thrones series and those were all like thousands of pages. Okay, not multiple thousands, but like 8,000 pages and then some. Um, so the closest I could find was the first Twilight novel. All the other ones were too big. And that was two pages away from being incorrect. And it was 498, which was frustrating. Okay, so I'm an idiot. Um, okay, so I'm an idiot. Also, as far as TV series goes... I picked this one at random, it's not the first one in the series, but the Laura Ingalls Wilder, Little House on the Prairie series, duh. Um, this one's the long winner, but uh, yeah, I have the whole series, I got the box set as a kid, and um, where was my mind at? Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? I have several. I have the Twilight series, I have almost all of those, I am missing Eclipse, I have Ender's Game. I have Memoirs of a Geisha, The Chronicles of Narnia, which I think three of those have been turned into movies so far, and I have Harry Potter. 
Um, I'm sure I have some other ones around here somewhere, but those were just the ones in my close vicinity. Do you have a graphic novel? Um, I have the whole series of Trigun, and then I have, and then I have the first one in the Full Metal Alchemist series. And last question, number 20. Do you have a book written by two or more authors? The first one that sprang to mind was The Elven Bane by Andre Norton and Mercedes Lackey. Lakey? Lackey? I feel like it's Lackey. I have no idea how old this book is. The cover looks like it's from the, the 80s or something. Copyright 1991, so I was way off. But uh, yeah, so um, don't judge a book by its cover, guys. Um, so that's all the questions on do I have that book tag. My camera's a little crooked, but the video's almost over, so y'all just gonna have to deal with it. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, my personal website. I have a few different blogs, which you can find on my website. Hit subscribe down below, leave me your questions, comments, and concerns. I want to hear all of them. Hit the bell notification icon so you get notified when I have a new video. And I will see you all later. Bye!